and welcome to my bathroom. I have been trying to set up here for a few moments long. It's been a long few moments and it's just awkward. I got my ring light right here. Got another ring light right here. Look at this. I thought this was gonna be a lot taller. That doesn't give me that much length. I got a table right here. As you can tell by the title, we are doing a tarantula update video. We are going to be rehousing some of my tarantulas. They need new cocoa coir. I've gotten some flowers from the dollar store. I got my hot glue heating up over there. I have my gloves because I am going to be rehousing some tarantulas that have some pretty nasty eradicating hair. One of them being my Lasiodora parahibana. In other words, my salmon pink bird eater. And they don't necessarily eat birds. It's just they call them that because that's how large they get. The Lassiodora is the fourth largest tarantula in the world, but right now Daphne or Doug, I don't know if it's a female or male, won't know until years. Daphne Doug is still a baby, but Daphne Doug has really grown. Really, really, really grown. Right now Daphne is in a 10 gallon aquarium. I'm going to be putting her in another enclosure. It's a little bit smaller, but she's still gonna have a lot of leg room and a lot of room to grow. We're also gonna be doing my Chromatopelma green bottle blue tarantula. She is really big and quite feisty and really, really mean. She's not very nice. Both of these tarantulas that we're gonna be rehousing are not the, <laughs> they're not the kindest. They got tempers on them, okay? So watch out. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <gasps> I just got that. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? I need to be more gentle with my things. Oh, this is so exciting. I think I'm gonna do the bird eating tarantula first. Their main food sources are lizards, mice, and stuff like that. Mine does not eat anything like that. They eat crickets, which I do have crickets that are already gut fed. And what that means is I put them in an enclosure and I fed them blueberries, spinach, carrots for 72 hours and they have devoured everything and now they're all full of nutrients. When I feed them into my spiders, they're getting their nutrients. Kind of like hiding peas in ground beef, you know, so your kids don't know. <laughs> oh. the second one is like really feisty and to be truthfully honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous. I've only rehoused her one time when she got too big for her first enclosure. It didn't go smooth. Her name is Esmeralda, by the way. She's so beautiful, I cannot wait to show you her. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so she's right here. How am I gonna film this? Hold on a second, guys. I didn't think this all the way through. Uh, I need to get you a better view. <laughs> I love you so much. You're such a good boy. Now you stay, stay right here. You be a good boy, okay? Okay. That looks better. You can see me. Okay. Pop in the top. I got this big old thing, a cocoa coir in this tamale pot. Two bricks. Put some water in there. Let it soak overnight. And boom. You got substrate. I don't have any sand, though. Kind of bummed about that. Forgot. We're gonna fill this up for Miss Daphne Doug. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Give me a second. I love the way Coco Coir smells. I do. Do you? Have you ever tried to smell Coco Coir? Try it. Try it. Do it. I don't like telling people what to do. Ever. But I'm telling you, go try to smell some wet Coco Coir. You like the smell of wet rain? It's right here. At any moment you want to smell the wet rain, you just wet some cocoa coir and you put your face in it. I love that smell. Okay. Let's get back to business. I'm ditching the shovel. I'm using my hands. Oh, it's a lot faster. Okay, cool. I'm going to fill this about halfway. All right, about like that. I think that's pretty good. Now this next part, I'm going to need these gloves. I'll be going into Daphne Doug's enclosure to retrieve her aesthetically pleasing furniture. There is eradicating hairs all over everything in there. Last time, I was just trying to give her a bigger water dish and I did not use gloves. My hands were itchy for up to three weeks. It's not even funny. I just don't want that to happen. So what you want to do when you're dealing with spiders like that is get some extra long gloves that preferably go up to your elbow and wear long sleeves. Let's retrieve that furniture. This is one of her furnitures. Okay, it's a little bit big. I'm going to take this part off. Okay. Also a mask is a, is a really great idea. So I'm going to take these flowers off of here and good job, buddy. Good boy. Oh, I wish I could pet you, but I can't. I'm sorry, honey. I'm gonna put it down just like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit over that like that. We got a lot of flowers here to choose from. I'm thinking I like these ones though, the yellow. Put one right here, one 
somewhere right there. All right, I've already filled it up with water. I'm gonna take this fine misting bottle here and I'm going to give it a good mist. And she is right there. She is a pretty specimen. <gasps> Dude, we did not need that to happen. Oh my God, I just had a heart attack. I love, I, oh, I love, <gasps> I love these guys so much. Okay, good girl. We've got her secured in the cup. Now, there you go. Oh, that's perfect. I love when they climb up. There you go. Yes, yeah, yeah, queen. I could really show you guys. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Look how big she is. And at any moment, she could turn around and sprint out of this cup. We're going to put this down. Give you guys another good look. I have had her since she was the size of a quarter. She is no longer the size of a quarter. She's the size of a dollar bill. Can you guys see those fangs? I don't know if you can or not. I'm going to just tip it like this. I got a little trick up my sleeve. I'm going to take a paintbrush and we're going to coax her out. Okay, go down, go down, go down, go down. There you go, there you go, there you go. All the way, all the way. There we go. We did it. There's Daphne Doug in all her beautiful glory. I'm sorry about all that. Here, let me make it better by giving you a delicious cricket. Oh, the cricket is underneath her. She got it. I'm gonna give her one more. Are you gonna do your happy dance? Oh my gosh, you guys, I made a mistake. This is the enclosure Daphne Doug is supposed to be in. It's a lot bigger than that one. After I do Esmeralda, this will be freed up. I'll just do a little swippy swap. That's okay. So I'm gonna take her and put her in a different enclosure. She's hard to catch. So this will be her new one. It's longer. It would be a perfect fit for her type of tarantula. She likes to have anchoring. What does that mean? That means just put some sticks in there. So that way she can spider it up, you know? I'm gonna try to take the sticks that she already has, but first we're gonna have to capture her. Now she does not have any venom, okay? But she does have eradicating hairs like we spoke about before. The same thing with my last baby. And she is right there. All right, we got our cup. I don't think that's gonna work. I need to coax her out of these sticks so that way I can capture her without any incidents. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, I got her away, look at that. If I could get this out, that'd be so cool. Nope, nope, nope. Dude, do you see what she did? She just attacked her molt, dude! Putting it back on. I'm sweating, Ugh, my throat. <gasps> I just touched my throat with my hand that has eradicated hairs on it. Oh my God, chaos has ensued, great. All right, hi, change of plans. I don't know what's gonna happen to my neck, but I just grabbed it, as you saw. We're just gonna feed her. I've gotten the eradicating hairs on my hands. I've never gotten them on my neck before, bro. Like, I'll keep you updated. Go ahead and give her some food. There you go. Uh-oh, oh, oh no, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. No, the camera's full. I'm losing crickets. Oh, hell no, bro. Wait, why did she let the cricket go? Why are you letting a cricket go? Please come here, cricket. Where did it go? Thank you for not running out, Esmeralda. I really appreciate it. Are you kidding me right now? God, I got that out. Where did that cricket go? There it is. Sorry, guy. Good. <laughs> okay, cool. Look at those colors. Here, let me get the, let me get a light on her. Look at that. How beautiful those greens and blues are and the orange and the red. She's gorgeous, isn't she so freaking pretty? Oh my goodness, my heart is racing. Oh yeah, don't let it, oh, go, let it get away. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, cool, she got both of them. <laughs> oh, back up. Okay, don't touch her face. Oh, all right, everybody, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. I'm gonna get this shirt off and get something else on and wipe everything down that I have touched. I'll make a post on Instagram of all the enclosures so you can see them better pictures. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I love you to absolute pieces and until next time, mwah, air, air kiss. <laughs>